So this question starts off by giving us a function, h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 110t plus 72. It goes on to say the function above models the height h in feet of an object above ground t seconds after being launched straight up in the air. So I'm going to just represent this here. So the object is at some point, we don't know exactly where it is, but we know that it's going to be launched directly up, and we know that the height of the object above the ground is representative here, but obviously this height continues to move up with time, right? Time is influencing all of that. So again, I also like to write down the equation if there's one provided, just so I can kind of get a sense and feel for it myself. Now the question says that the function above models the height h and feet of an object above ground t seconds after being launched straight up in the air. What does the number 72 represent in the function? Well, this number 72 does not have a t associated with it. It's not multiplied by t, which tells me from experience that it must represent like, it must be similar to what we would consider to be like a y-intercept, right? Basically, the y-intercept is where x is equal to zero. So what's the correlation here uh, between what I know about, let's say, slope-intercept form, right? y equals mx plus b, right, where the b is the y-intercept, and we can always find it by plugging zero in for x. What's the relationship between that understanding and the function that we have? Well, instead of x equaling zero, we could say, well, well what happens when t equals zero? t equaling zero would be before launch, right, before the object is launched. And if t were equal to zero, that means I plug zero in there, and I plug zero in here, and negative 16 times zero just becomes zero, 110 times zero becomes zero, and all we'd be left with is 72. So we'd actually figure out that h of, I'm gonna say h of zero, right, because we're saying that t equals zero, so h of zero, or the height before any time has passed is equal to 72. And that's exactly what the question's asking us. What does the 72 represent? Well, the 72 represents the height at time zero or before launch. So answer choice A says the initial height in feet of the object. That is exactly what we just said. That must be the correct answer, right? I'll look at the others just to make sure, but A really does have to be the best answer here. Choice B says the maximum height and feet of the object. Well, that can't be true, right? I don't know how high up this object will go, but I do know it will go higher than where it starts because, you know, T has value, like T, plugging a T value in here and here is going to make this go up to some degree. So B is out. And then choice C says the initial speed. Well, I don't like that answer because the question or this function has nothing to do with speed. It only, it only focuses on height and time. So that's not it. And then D is also about speed, the maximum speed, right? So that's also not it. So I really do like choice A. And I think that is the best answer here.